Hello, how's it going? So, I had a little brain trust meeting with myself, and I thought, you guys are like good stories, right? Because another passion of mine is comics, and there's a particular comic series I want to talk about, because I think it's brilliant. And it's called Saga, by Brian K. Vaughan, with art by Fiona Staples, and published by Image Comics. And I would really recommend it, if comics are a thing that you like. So in this video, I'm going to try and loosely adapt a little bit of it, kind of like I do with the Chronicle books. And if you enjoy it, go and read it. And maybe this can become a thing I do, every once in a while, or something. As long as I don't get a copyright claim, because I don't know the bloody rules. But anyway, let's check out some saga, shall we? This is one of our main characters, Alana, and she's all like, Am I shitting? Because it feels like I'm shitting. Alana's giving birth. And this bloke, Marco, is the dad. But they don't actually know each other very well. So, a bit weird. It's a girl, and I'm gonna have to skip a few frames, cause boobs. But Marco's all like, she's perfect. And Alana says, yeah, she's all right. Got weird eyes. And then Marco's like, nom 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 nom. But don't worry, this didn't just take a horrific turn. He's just chewing the umbilical cord, which is much less weird. He has a sword, but whatevs. Marco doesn't want to use the sword. He's not a soldier anymore, and that sword is never being unsheathed again, apparently. Of course it bloody will, but he'll be really sad about it. You may have noticed Alana's an alien pixie fairy thing, and Marco's a goat elf bloke or something. Well, this is like a sci-fi fantasy type story, so... Anyway, there's a bang on the door, and they both get a bit startled. They paid some monkey guy off to make sure everything was secret and safe. Outside, there's a bloke with a TV for a head, and he's all like... Open the door, you jerks. I'm Baron Robot 23. So, fucking surrender. And the little monkey guy's saying, I'm the guy, they paid off, but whatever, so I do what I want. Back inside, Marco tells Alana to cheese it, and he'll buy them some time. But the door blasts open, and Baron Robot 23 stands there like a smug idiot. Put your hands up, because I'm Baron Robot 23, so fucking surrender. Marco tries to reason with them, whilst Alana tells them to piss off. The winged soldier guys are from the same planet as Alana, and they're kind of racist to Marco. They call him a Mooney, which is funny, because where I come from, a Mooney is when you flash your butt at someone. But anyway, they're kind of surprised that he can speak actual language. I don't know why though, because one of the soldiers pipes up saying like, Oh no, this little device is doing the readings, and there's magic or something. And Baron Robot 23 grabs the monkey guy, like, Who else did you tell about this, you greedy twat? Because I'm Baron Robot 23, so... Fucking surrender. <laughs> and then some more go elf blokes show up and they're speaking language. But it's foreign, so they're like, hurdy gurdy gurdy, Marco. And Marco's like, hurdy gurdy gurdy. Things escalate kind of quickly and Alana and Marco embrace, as it seems like this is the end. And they say a teary goodbye to each other as both sides just start firing the guns. But it's okay, the two of them and the baby are fine. The soldiers from both sides ended up just killing each other, except the monkey guy. He's just gravely wounded. And he's like, Ugh, oh, just two days from retirement. Get out of here, you dumb kids. Go make something of yourself. Hang on. This is your bloody fault. Ugh, oh, take this. I bought it with the money I got for selling you out. And then he dies. Anywho, gotta skip a few frames again, because uh, TV-headed people doing erotic stuff. The TV head bloke is called Four. He's a prince. But he's just got back from the war, and he's seen some pretty nasty stuff. So he's got boner problems. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but there's a gentleman caller. He's here on business. The gentleman caller is one of the winged people. Special Agent Gale from Secret Intelligence. Prince Robot 4 is like, look, I'm on extended leave to start a family. So whatever it is, I don't give a shit. And Agent Gale does that thing where he just ignores that and starts the brief anyway. This is Alana. She's a soldier in the Landfall Army. And this is prisoner 9762572. He's a wreath soldier, but he surrendered 18 months ago. Claimed to be a conscientious objector. He was sent to a prison and guarded by none other than Private First Class Alana. And then 12 hours later, they bloody disappeared. Disappeared? 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 But then three months ago, we got some CCTV footage. And, uh, she's preggers. Well, that's just outrageous. Look at their hands. They got matching rings. They got married. Well, that's a little less outrageous then, but it's still pretty outrageous. Exactly. Your father wants you to deal with this situation before anyone finds out. Anyway, you leave in the morning. See ya. I'm Batman! And I'm gonna leave it there, I think. Originally, I was gonna try and make this video about 10 or so minutes long, but I'm kinda testing the waters. Obviously, it all depends on whether you guys enjoy this video, but also the copyright rules around comics are a bit of a minefield, which is why I've tried to avoid using a lot of the panels from the book. Hopefully, this is okay, because I really enjoyed making this one. Also, 
Hiru sent me a potential solution to my model viewer problem, so as long as that works, the Chronicle vids should be back fairly soon. I can't give a definitive date on that yet, but as I've said previously, as soon as I can start making them, I will. As always, thanks very much to the patrons. Your support is very much appreciated, especially since I've been uploading less recently. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. Please do leave a comment letting me know what you thought of this video. If it's possible to make more of these, what comics do you recommend? Has anyone ever read Invincible by Robert Kirkman and Corey Walker? Because that's another image series that I really like. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!